Today, we'll be creating this colourful chameleon with water mixable oil pastels, and you can see how fun and effective they are to use. The soft background effect is created by adding water to a layer of pastel to create a wash, and the texture of the scales is created by using the technique of scruffito and scumbling. So let's get into it. For this project, we'll be using the 48-piece set of water-soluble oil pastels. A sheet of 300 GSM watercolour paper in A3 sizing, some clear tape to adhere the sheet to the tabletop, some black acrylic colour paint, a paper blending stump, a 2H pencil and 6B pencil for transferring our image, a fine brush, a medium flat Taclon brush to paint the silhouette and a large flat honk bristle brush to create our wash. The first step is to transfer the outline onto a sheet of watercolour paper. This can be done by taking the printout that you can find on our website. Shade the backside with a 6B pencil, flip it over and retrace the outside of the image with a relatively sharp 2H pencil. Now that we have the outline, we can paint in the silhouette with black acrylic paint. This will seal the paper and create a much more robust surface to take the scraffito when we come to do it. Add a little water to the paint to make it flow smoother if you need to and let this dry thoroughly. Once dry, we can lay in the background. Use that clear tape to tape the watercolour sheet to the table. This will not only stop the sheet from moving when we apply our colour, but it will minimise any paper warpage when we apply the water. To get a nice soft, out of focus, abstract look to the work, we lay down some green grey into the chosen areas. Don't press too hard as you just want the pigment to sit on top of the paper. It's also a good practice to hold the water soluble pastel vertical. Then apply lime green into the edges of the green grey and then apply chrome yellow into the highest key areas. These will suggest the sun shimmering through the vegetation. Once the page is fully covered with pigment, we use that large flat hog bristle brush and scrub the pastel colours. Because these oil pastels are water soluble, the pigment will dissolve into a wash. Use circular motions with the brush and roughly blend the tones together. Be gentle with the circular strokes so you don't damage the paper. Allow this coat to thoroughly dry before the next step. Now the underpainting is done, we lay pastel over the top. I lay lime over the areas where the green grey has been laid, yellow over the areas where the lime has been laid and white over the yellow areas and blend the adjoining colours into one another. Allow for some of that underpainting to show through too. The broken surface will add an interesting texture to the work. The background is now done and looks pretty good, and we can start to apply colour over our chameleon. There are no right or wrong colour choices here, just use the colour you feel like using. Put the colours up to each other and work across the chameleon. Add any light guidelines that were lost when we painted on the silhouette with a pencil. For detail areas, use the edge of the water soluble pastel. I have put lots of colours into the tail and head areas, but the body is mainly green and blue. 
For the legs, I leave some black to show through for shadow and so that I don't lose the outline. In many ways, water-soluble oil pastels work in a similar way to oil paint, so it can be helpful to follow the same rules you would when painting with oil paint. You follow the lights over darks principle and thin layers are lightly applied over thicker layers. Lay the water-soluble oil pastel on fairly thickly. As the thicker the coat is applied, the more pronounced the effect of the sgraffito will be. A thick coat also makes it easier to blend colours. One way to blend two colours so that they have a smooth transition is to lay them next to each other and use a blending stump to smooth the colours into each other. The blending stump needs to be cleaned regularly so it does not contaminate any areas. The blending stump can be cleaned by wiping the tip off onto a paper towel. If you would like to try this project, you might like to have a look on the internet at some species of chameleons and recreate their specific colouring. Sgraffito is a word to describe the action of scratching into the surface of a coat to reveal either the underlying layer or just to add a pattern or texture to the top layer. For our purpose, we will be using the technique to suggest the complex scales on our little friend. To create your sgraffito, you can use any hard pointy implement. Some people use a toothpick or the point of a fork. In this case, I use a small round brush that has been sharpened to a point. The thicker handle is just more comfortable to use for extended periods of time. The scales can be created with small circles adjoined in a line. Try to follow the form with your lines as you work across the chameleon and then fill in between the lines with more circles. Don't make all the circles or scales the same size as it might look a bit unnatural. Chameleons have skin crystals that allow them to change colour at will. This allows them to camouflage themselves in their surroundings. The tail, legs and body have been done and we can start work on the head now. We still have to scumble on some colour over the top, but we can do that once the head is done. The colours get laid up next to one another and blended gently together. Then the lighter colours go over the top. We can then lay more sgraffito over the top. Again, the form is closely observed and the scales are used to reinforce the chameleon's head shape. Chameleons also have very unusual eyes in the way that they can swivel around in two different directions simultaneously. This allows the chameleon to scan the area for food without having to move its head, giving its position away. Also allowing for great depth perception. Chameleons catch their prey by shooting out their tongues which are roughly about twice the length of their body. When their tongue comes out, it moves at a speed of 97 kilometers in one hundredths of a second. Create the body and limbs first, then gently scumble on a lighter version of each underlying color over the top of that layer. Scumble is a term that refers to a very light coat over the top of a previous layer. Usually most effective if the underlying colour can still be partially seen to an extent. When this top layer is applied, it must be done gently so the scales are not distorted.
Chameleon's feet work like salad tongs and they have a really funny jerky walk and are very cute. Chameleons, I think, are one of the coolest animals. Currently, there are about 200 species of them and they vary greatly in size, with the diminutive Bruxia microchameleon measuring 2.54 centimetres, compared to the massive Parsons chameleon measuring 68 centimetres. The branch our little friend is standing on can be created first by laying on a dark brown, in this case Van Dyke brown. Then a lighter tone of sienna is laid into the top of the branch and blended in. Well, we hope you enjoyed this project and can see how fun and versatile the water-soluble oil pastels are to use. While you're here, take a look around the Create section of our website and uncover a whole heap of free stuff from projects, handy tips, tricks and techniques to keep you busy. Thanks for watching, stay creative and we'll see you next time.